did you know you could drastically improve your videos without having to spend any more money on better cameras, better lenses, better mics, none of that shit. You don't need better equipment to make better videos. What I'm going to talk about today has nothing to do with camera gear. Okay, so admittedly, better camera gear is going to be very useful in upgrading your image and sound quality for your videos. However, I do think we focus a little bit too much on the hardware, only because camera technology is constantly and very quickly improving. And I get it, it's very fun, it is all very exciting. But being the guy that uses low budget camera equipment for professional shoots, I'm going to suggest that you can make your videos even better using what you already have, no matter what you have. These next three points are what really make or break your videos, and they have nothing to do with camera gear. In fact, by the end of this video, I'm going to show you an example of how I use these three points to create a cinematic sequence using nothing but stock footage. Point number one, story. Now I know you've probably heard this a million times already, but I'm going to tell you one more time, story is king. If you don't have a story, at the very least, tell a message. Your video should be communicating something to the viewer. To completely understand what we mean by story, here's the definition. A story or narrative is a connected series of events told through words, imagery, body language, performance, music, or any other form of communication. The key words of this definition are connected series of events. Beginning, middle, end. The audience should have a sense of what's going to happen, stick around long enough to watch it happen, and then be brought to a satisfying conclusion of what just happened. Point number two, pacing. Pacing is the variety of the length of your shots to guide the audience in their emotional response to the video. Shorter cuts usually excite or heighten anxiety, while longer cuts usually soothe, relax, or build suspense. If you look at my intro to all these episodes, you're going to notice very short cuts because I want to get the viewer excited about what they're going to watch. Versus my Jamaican wedding edit where the cuts are super long and drawn out because it's dreamy, it's romantic, and you're just living in the moment. Point number three is music, but more importantly, music matching. You want the soundtrack to match and make sense with the other two points that we just talked about. Because sometimes I'll see videos where the music selection might be a little bit too much for the subject matter on screen. And when that happens, there's an obvious mismatch and the audience won't really know what to feel. All right, so let's recap. Three points that will make or break your video. Make sure you have a story, right? A connected series of events beginning, middle, end. Have tasteful pacing to guide your audience emotion and do your best to make sure that your music is congruent with the subject matter on screen. Now, like I said before, I'm going to give you an example of how I utilize these three points to create a sequence using nothing but stock footage. So zero of my camera gear is involved. Now, as you watch this, ask yourself, can you identify the story? How is the pacing making you feel? Is the music suitable for what you're seeing? Now, again, everything you're about to see is stock footage from Storyblocks. And from the footage I found, I put together an edit summarizing my interpretation of today's world events. So were you able to spot the three points that we discussed today? Story, pacing, and music. Let me know in the comments below your resistance to buying better camera gear because you think it'll make you a better video creator. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for hanging out and watching the whole video. If you found this video informative or at the very least entertaining, don't be shy to show me some love. Hit that like button down below. If you want to see this face more often and watch me pretend like I know what I'm talking about, consider subscribing. This is Kevin Mendoza. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh,